Hey fun, are you doing well? So, we've uh, just uh, I finished uh, my coffee with a shell and um, we had a very good uh, natter. Sorry, my hair's a bit messy because of the wind. <coughs> right. So yeah, so so the rest of the uh, day um, and in this video I'm just going to talk about kind of coaching and stuff really. So I hope you will um, um, enjoy it. Um, so yeah, so basically what life coaching is, I, well, so I do life coaching, so I'm very much about no um health healthy minds what was it is very important so the way that we think and the way that we treat ourselves um like any time of the year is really really important and um so no i thinking no i say negative will uh, not do you no know, your mind any good your mental health and it will also not do your body any good um and i have a first hand experience like at this because i'm going to tell you now that you no know, when you have um like you no know, a health issue um so i've had like a c section and i was it got infected in that and every time I tried to you no know, like had tablets and stuff like that it wouldn't heal i got type 2 diabetes and my mindset was very much say negative nothing's nothing is going to work and stuff as soon as i changed my mindset and decided to actually you know like i think in a more positive way i you know, think that i was i am going to get better than that um and, and then i did and it it goes without saying that you can do this with almost like anything so say if you are looking for a uh, job okay and what was it you may have a a very specific kind of job that you want okay so you need to write that down okay you need to write what job you want down um and then if you haven't got uh, the sills in that you need to write down you know what are the sills that you need and could you possibly learn that but if you have got the sills then write them down the next step is to you know search and to look and that and to really be positive when you apply because when we are writing our like application okay it's really important that we put down like everything that we uh, know and our knowledge of that you know, particularly kind of subject so for like example if i was going for like a job like in um a uh, unit or a school for kids with autism yeah now i have over 20 years experience working with children uh, with special needs and adults and that so i would put down but not just the the, uh, the fact that i work in those places but also you no know, what kind of training i've had what kind of you no know, skills do i have which it may be a little bit kind of different to like others and that and then then while you wait for that application just have really positive like thoughts now this is hard for some people because if you get rejected um, and i'll go on to this in the moment but it's really important to kind of like i think in a positive way so they you know, right i'm going to get this like a job yeah but like if i don't then that's okay because that wasn't the right you no know, job no, for me okay no because you want to be somewhere where they can see your you no know, skills and your personality and what you can bring to the place so don't no please don't doubt yourself yeah now if you do have confident like issues and that uh, so you're not very confident when it comes to you no know, maybe 
you know, uh, writing your application or like interviews. Uh, we'll come on to interviews maybe in a moment. But like uh, basically, it's really important uh, that if you're no good at like you no know, writing down like your skills and that, or you can't put it in the context that you feel that you know, speaking it um, can be, then what I would do, try to find someone who's really good at like you no know, writing and stuff, or or go to a um, a job coach or you no know, a career coach and like ask them to help. Now because it's a really useful you no know, kind of um a way to you know get your application um through to the employer because uh when I was interviewing people um at like my um like own company uh, care company we used to go through with like applications and the more details uh, that you have on your application uh, the better the more very 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 details yeah the less details that you have um especially when it comes to like you no know, uh your kind of like a work experience and you no know, your skills and that if there's not many there it's very doubtful that you will get through to the interview like sage you no know, you won't be shortlisted so that's one thing that i would really really think about and concentrate on is you no know, what was it when you're writing your application is um like your sills and that um i do apologize i'm in the car park and i'm just watching this car um i think she's got plenty of space um it's going to be me who are going it's going to struggle to get out but anyway so um you've got a job interview yeah and um it's really important that you prepare yourself for like the like interview and i'm going to do a whole nother video on like job interviews and how you can really be like say positive and how to prepare for that job interview um and also in the interview itself and how uh what exercises that you can do beforehand to be you know calm what exercises that you can do um when you are like in the interview and that and one thing i would say so if you are going if you're watching this video now and you've got a interview tomorrow i would quickly just uh, listen to you know what i'm about to say okay one breathe two listen to the questions okay and if you are not sure about uh, what they mean and that like um ask them to explain in a different way okay um or ask for some clarity on what because that is not going to make you look stupid um or nothing it's, it's it's actually going to show the employer that um you are ta taking the initiative to kind of like question their question and that and to make sure that uh you understand the question um so you can give a like really good answer now what if you don't know like the answer what if you have an experience um no then i would say um sometimes they would say give um other examples and if you can try to think but sometimes like what was it the pressure is on us when we are in that interview stage so think of questions beforehand which they may ask okay and think of like your answers as well go on to google and uh put in you no know, the most popular questions for your like a uh, section okay um and don't worry like if like if you can't answer it then you can't answer it yeah that's absolutely fine say i don't know or no i'm i'm not sure it's very simple um but a lot of people will get um stressed about it and that so no just remember to you no know, be calm and to relax and uh, take a bottle of water with you make sure that you drink between like i say questions and that uh, don't worry if you have to think about the questions yeah just say that you need a few more minutes to you know think and 
that you can look down and think, you know, and that it's okay to do all that. So I wouldn't worry too much. Now, I'm going to do a full video on like interviews and stuff and that and the mindset and stuff like that. So if you have um, enjoyed this video, then please you know, give it a like and uh, I'm going to be doing more videos. I am a life coach. So, I mean, I've kind of given you one kind of section where I'm very you know, passionate about talking and that uh, about um so what a life coach would do in that situation is very simple. We would just like ask you questions and that, explore kind of like your ideas and that, and where you need like help kind of with. And with that, um, please kind of like uh, join me kind of like next time to learn a bit, uh, say more. And anyway, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to go into town now and um and have a look around and just chill before i need to pick up my kids take care everyone and um see you soon bye for now